Hi friends, we are going to Walt Disney World this Christmas and I am so excited, but I wanted to share with you guys my park bags that I will be taking with us to Disney World. So I do have a six-year-old and a four-year-old and I will be taking two park bags with us. One with my necessities and then the other is things that we may or may not need. I just like to have it with us just in case or even our restaurant bag. I'll show you what all is in our bags. So before we get into the bags, let's talk about the bags themselves. They are both Petunia Pickle Bottom. One is the Sad Sling. They both have the bell print on it. I'm pretty sure that they do not sell the bell print as of right now. I think it is just the princess print. It's been a while since I looked at their website. But I love both of these bags. They're really nice. The Sad Sling, it has a zipper top, a zipper here in the front, and then a pocket in the back. And I do like this because whatever side you want it on, you can change it to. So whatever side is more comfortable for you, as well as if you wanted to, you could also carry it like as a purse. So it does have a D ring right here on the side. So next up is the Method backpack. I love this backpack. It is Old Faithful. If you've watched any of my other vlogs or anything, you have probably seen this bag. Also this one as well, but this is my go-to, my favorite. This is my travel backpack now. It's no longer a diaper bag, which is so sad, but I love it so much and the quality is still amazing. It is still in excellent shape. I think I have had this thing three years now and I'm pretty rough with things so that is doing pretty good. So for the Method backpack it does have a little zipper up here. It has like a little like the flannel in it just to keep whatever you want safe like I keep my sunglasses in here and then it has a very large compartment. It does have four pockets on the inside and of course Chip love him to death and then these two side pockets are insulated so if you wanted to stick your water bottles in that that's really nice and then in the back you do have nice padded straps and then also D hooks I like to use the stroller um, the stroller hooks to hook it onto our stroller at the parks which is really nice and then the, my favorite thing is this little compartment right here where you can put your cell phone and it also is protected as well you can zip it up but it also has this like nice material to protect your phone so jumping into our park bag i have a disposable straws in here because Disney does not use straws or they use paper straws, I'm not a fan. I like to bring straws. I typically take silicone straws, but this trip, my sister-in-law was like, why don't you try disposable straws? So here I am, I got a whole large pack and I put them in my Amy Small World bag. I love this bag, it's really nice. So let's jump into the actual bag. In the top compartment, I do have sunglasses. These are my amusement park sunglasses. If you've been around, I talk about these a lot. I love them, they're inexpensive, they're polarized, and they're lightweight, they're great. If you break them, you can replace them easily because they're inexpensive. Then we have my kiddos' sunglasses. They are kid-proof, I really like these. They're really nice, and my kiddos have had these forever and a day. They've yet to break them, so that's even nicer. These are my Disney sunglasses I had to buy because I broke these sunglasses. Well, not this exact pair, but similar. So I broke a pair like this last year and I had to pick these cute little guys up. But you guys, they're not very comfortable. They're cute with the little Mickey on them, but they're not comfy. So I take both to the, the parks. And then of course I have my little guy's sunglasses. Same thing as my little girls, they're kid proof, they're really nice. They're perfect for the parks. Now coming inside my bag. Up here I do have, let me see if I can get all this out, some liquid IVs. I also have some bit belts in there and some moleskin. Very nice, gotta have all that. And then of course I have my band-aids. Gotta have that when you have children. And then of course I have some hair ties. We always have to keep these with us with me and my little girl. They're really nice to have. And then I have 
you might be wondering, this is my prayer cloth. I keep it with me. I, just for protection and safety, uh, if you are curious as to what that is. And then I have my medicine pouch for me, myself, my little ones. In here, I do also have some goodies, headache powder, as well as some Dramamine for my little guy. Need to get some more because he is running low on that. So that needs to go on the checklist before we leave. And then I have some deodorant and then some stick sunscreen, just in case we need that. It's always nice to have this just in case you get a headache, your little ones don't feel good. If you do not have little ones, this is the thing you need to take and put in your bag. Make sure to have some medication. Now the parks do have first aid centers if you do need like a dosage, but they're not gonna give you like a whole medicine thing. You will have to buy that, like a whole pill bottle. So you will have to buy that at the parks. Super expensive, but if you need just one dosage, they will be able to give you that at first aid. Next, I have our restaurant bag. If you have seen any of my other travel accessories and bags, I love this thing. I have added the magnet men to it. My kiddos, I need to add more post-it notes now that I'm thinking about it. They love this bag. They know it's in my, my diaper bag at all times. Even this past weekend, we went to a wedding, and during the wedding, my kiddos were like, can I have the restaurant bag? And so we got that out. It has stickers, it has everything. If you want to check out exactly what's in it, I will have a link for another video that goes into thorough details. Then in here, let me see if I can get this opened. So in the bag, there is a motion sickness band for my little guy. Uh, he gets motion sick pretty pretty easily even on long car rides So we have to keep these things with us at all times and then of course some mints and then um, I If you have dry eyes, this is perfect And then of course some chapstick Tied to go You're gonna need that if you're a messy person like myself and my kids some gum some lotion and a little tiny mints outweights and then a random cough drop so that's great so that's what is in there it's just random but we gotta have it all next I have my little girl's potty seat this is absolutely amazing it's the jewel I've had it forever and a day I love it, it goes everywhere with us, very nice. I, that's also why I keep these wipes up here, just in case we need to wipe down the seat. And then I also have another thing of wipes, in case they need to be cleaned off their face. Anywhere else, it's really nice to have just some extra wipes for your mom, you know. And then of course, I do have some extra things just in case my kiddos get bored for sitting at a parade or waiting for something. That way they have something to do. So I have Bluey. This is a color and a race. So if they draw in it all, all I have to do is take a wet paper towel and wipe it off and they can draw again, which I like this. Then we have Princess Play and Pack. These are like the Target dollar things. Really nice, my kiddos enjoy those. And then Ziploc bags, I have two different sizes. I have gallon and then I have snack size. And then my kiddos clothes bag that is in their wet bag. I just take a change of clothes for both of them uh, just in case something happens. Honestly, on every single trip we have been on, at one point or another, they have either spilt something or something has happened and they have had to change clothes. So even though my kiddos are potty trained, and even if it's not a potty accident, I still bring a change of clothes just in case they get dirty. My little guy, he does not like to be wet at all. So if he goes like in the splash pad or anywhere, he's gonna wanna change. So I know that about my kids and I also just want to be prepared for them. Okay, so my side sling that I carry with me at the parks and keep on me at all times, Times. Let's get into this. So starting this off, I have some hand sanitizing wipes. And then of course I have line toys. If you haven't heard me talk about these, you have little ones, even children like 10 and under. I honestly get a couple of random items, put them in your purse for line toys. My kiddos love these things. I have that for my little guy and little girl. And then of course some hand sanitizer. 
And then this little guy is a favorite. He's like the stretchy thing and then he also lights up. He's a favorite of my kiddos. And then these little guys, oh, I have this too. Let me show you. These little guys, they stick to things and my kiddos have the best time with these at the parks. Just keeps them entertained. This goes on the back of my phone so that I can film on rides and attach it to my wrist so I don't lose my phone, so that's nice. Here's some more. And then of course some more eye cream. Oh, I forgot to get that out. It's another Mickey sticker. And then of course some chapstick. More of those little sticky things. More chapstick because, you know, as you can tell, I didn't go through this pocket before filming. Then some more of these little guys. And then a hair tie. You always have to have a hair tie. I need that. And of course, it's got to be Mickey. Just kidding. You don't have to have Mickey. And then another little line toys. So I think that's it. Nope. Just kidding. And then, oh, I found one from last year, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I was wondering where our extra one was. Well, found it. So let's get into the next pocket. So typically when I am not using my camera, my camera will sit in here just to protect it and I can have my hands free typically to help my little ones but it's just a safe spot for my camera so if this pocket doesn't have a lot in it of course I have just regular wipes just because I am a mom and I, I even use them even when I don't have my kids my charger if you do not have a charger a portable charger you need one on my last trip Old Faithful of Davies went kaput, so I had to order this one. I do like it, it does tell me the charging number. It also plugs into the wall, and then the cords are attached. I don't know if you can see them. Let me pull one out and show you. Okay, so it has a couple different like little charging things in case you do need it. It's really nice. It does hold charge for a long time. I really like it. It does not hold charge as good as Davies. I have to admit that. But that thing was heavy and this one is definitely not as heavy. So I do like that's a, a pro and con kind of thing. Uh, so I do really like this one, but his did hold charge a lot longer and his did have the solar battery on it but I do like this one this one is really nice I also love the fact that you can just plug it into the wall whereas my other one I had to have a cord as well as like a little cube in order to plug it into the wall so I like that it's just all in one and then last but not least is my new travel wallet I am so excited to share this with you guys so you can put change in here or whatever you want it's just a zipper with a little pocket I will probably put my change in here and then on the other side there is a pocket right here I think this is perfect for your boarding passes at the airport because you guys when you are in a hurry and you're trying to put your boarding passes somewhere you can just slide it down here makes it really nice or if you need to just carry this around you can put your phone right here because it does have like a wristlet thing now inside I am so excited about this. You can hide like your passports and things, um, put your gift cards. This is just really nice. You could even put your boarding passes in here as well or just lay them down. I am so excited about this just because I wanted to have a place where I could have it all. I could keep it on me at all times. I'm very excited about this travel wallet. Also, this travel wallet is very inexpensive, but if you see anything from our video today for park bags and you would like to check it out, I will have affiliate links down below in our description box for you to go shopping and enjoy. Affiliate just means that we are getting paid to kind of like promote it. It's very little. It's not a lot. It's just, and it also just goes back to helping our channel. You're just supporting us and we greatly appreciate each and every one of you, but those links will be down below. Another note that I had for you, 
For my mom, what she takes in her park bag is a lot different, of course, than mine. She takes her rain jacket as well as her ten an extra pair of tennis shoes or sandals, just depending on the weather. That way, in case she wants to change them or her feet get tired, that's something she does take. If you want to pack a poncho, if you're not a rain jacket kind of person, that is something else that I would recommend to take as well. We hope our video has been helpful for you and your family on your next Walt Disney World trip. If it has been and you haven't already joined our community by subscribing, we would love to have you around. This is a challenge video. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video, but this is a challenge video I have set for myself. I'm trying to upload a full week of videos for you guys to kind of get you excited for our Disney vlogs coming out soon. But go watch those other videos if you'd like to check that out. And our Disney vlogs will be coming soon. We hope you guys are having a blessed day. We'll see you real soon.